Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I am Whitney and I have another fabric haul for you guys. Now, before you all are thinking, oh my gosh, this lady has a problem and what is wrong with you, I would like to remind you my birthday and Christmas fall pretty close together and then I'm done for the year. So, um, I mean, obviously I buy fabric throughout the year, just not as large of hauls. And the reason for this one is because if you sign up for Style Maker's newsletter, you can put your birthday in there and then you get a 20% off coupon during your birthday month. Just as a little side note, it's a nice little perk and I knew that that was coming. Oops, try not to pull my lights down on me. I knew that that was coming and I had been kind of waiting for um, those that sale to hit uh, or for me to get that coupon for that sale because um, there was a few things I'd been eyeing for a little bit mostly for my spring and summer sewing um, and you're going to see kind of a color story emerge here. So I've got my little sheet here of everything that um, I bought so that I can kind of talk you through it. Uh, I really quickly though I just want to talk about Style Maker's customer service is phenomenal. Number one I can I placed an order let me think now. Does it say on here when I placed it? Okay, I placed this order on the 4th, so what was that, last Thursday, um, sorry, I'm filming this on a Thursday, you're not seeing this until a Tuesday, <laughs> so on the 4th I ordered it, and um, now they are in the, um, what is the, the time zone, um, Pacific time zone, is that what it's called, Pacific time zone, mountain time zone, central, eastern, that's right. Whew. Um, they're in Washington. <laughs> so uh, the state of Washington. And so they are three hours um, behind me. I'm in Eastern time zone. Anyway, um, I had placed the order about three o'clock probably in the afternoon. About 30 minutes after I placed the order, Sharon, so Michelle and Sharon are, um, I think they're mother-daughter that own Style Maker Fabrics. Sharon called me to say that one of the fabrics I'd ordered, uh, I'd ordered three yards and they only had two and two-thirds yard. Um, available and so it was like within 30 minutes of placing the order though and asked if it was if I wanted to cancel that yardage uh, you know completely if I had a specific pattern in mind for it or if it'd be okay um, if they could just refund me the third of the yard I had paid for which was fine with me like I said yes just send me what you got I'll just take the refund that'll be great such good customer service so she you know she's like okay great and you know happy birthday and all that and then I and it was dispatched that day so <laughs> I, three o'clock my time, which should have been around noon, their time, um, yes, they got all of that, and I have a large order here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things that I ordered, and, um, they had it all dispatched that day, and, uh, let's see, it came UPS, which is running a little bit slow, just because of COVID, I think normally I would get a UPS, um, order in just a couple of days, uh, which has been in the past with them. Um, and then I received it Wednesday on the 11th. So less than a week, I got everything. Um, and again, a lot of times the style maker, it'll be with like in just a couple of days, but, um, I think shipping is running a little bit low, but yeah, they had it dispatched on the day I ordered it. Just great customer service. Okay. Now I did order all of these things with projects in mind. So I'm going to kind of talk you through my thoughts as well. And you're going to see a color story emerge. Um, you know, I've talked ad nauseum about, you know, when I had my colors done last year. And if you're new to the channel, I had my colors professionally done, um, virtually by Christy Russell from, um, she has a YouTube channel, but her website is fashion translated. She is a, um, professional stylist, but she also does virtual color analysis and in person, but she's in Toronto. Um, and I did her virtual color analysis, which someone did tell me that the price has gone up quite a bit since I had mine done. But um, anyway, it she sent me a wallet with all of my different colors and stuff in it. It was a complete game changer for me. You can go back and look at old videos. I did, I went back to my natural hair color before I had my colors done, but you can even see from being blonde, which I had been blonde since high school, um, fake blonde since high school, <laughs> and then... Um, there was a period when I had my kids where I just didn't have time to get my hair cut or colored or cut for a while. But yeah, I've been blonde since, basically since high school. And then I went to my natural hair color um, the summer of 
2019. And then I had my colors done January of 20, or right after Christmas of 2019. Um, so kind of January of 2020, all of that figured out. And um, you can even see a difference even after I went to my natural hair color, just in the colors that I chose versus afterwards. Like there's a big, a big difference in my opinion. Technically this isn't one of my colors, but it's a pale blue and my, it can, makes my eyes kind of go that color. So I kind of fudge it. I feel like blues and teals kind of go, everybody can kind of wear, but anyway. I digress. Okay, so I, um, you'll definitely see a color story emerge here, but again, since I've been sewing in my color palette, that's pretty, it's just easy to do, um, which is very, very nice. All right, I'm just gonna start here at the top of the pile and work my way down. All right, this first one is a knit. It is a cotton spandex knit. It is a digital print garden collage jersey knit. It is cotton and lycra. Um, I got three yards of this. I think this was kind of pricey, but look at this print. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I don't wear, um, occasionally I'll do a knit dress and a print, but I don't wear a lot of printed knits just in my everyday life. That's just, I just tend to go a little bit more classic. I'll wear prints and wovens, but I don't know why I don't wear a lot of prints and um, jerseys. Maybe because it's more t-shirts, like if I'm wearing a top. I don't know. I just don't wear a lot of printed knit tops. So I will wear a printed knit dress on occasion. Anyway, um, I wanted this though for some summer pajamas. So um, I'm not gonna remember the name of the pattern. Um, Shannon from Indoor Shannon on Instagram had made a, is that who it was? Now I gotta remember who it was. I think it was Shannon. <laughs> made the cutest nightgown, like a little nightdress. Um, and it was a made for mermaids pattern that she had highlighted. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is exactly what I've been looking for nightgown wise. Like it, it's very similar to my current ready to wear nightgowns that are on well beyond their last leg. Like they need to go. I can't even like donate these. Like they need to be <laughs> scraps. Um, I have two of them uh, just for like the summer and sometimes even in the winter months if uh, you know, with menopause. I went through surgical menopause when I was only 28, so I get all of those um, wonderful side effects. They kind of come and go, even though, you know, too much information probably. Um, my hormones are regula regulated artificially, but anyway, um, I was like, I want to make that. So it is the Made for Mermaids, um, starts the B. I'll just pop a picture of the pattern here. <laughs> it's a bralette pattern, but you can also make it into a little night dress, like a little nightgown. And I'm, it's just like a, a wonderful cross between um, sewing lingerie and also just sewing like comfortable knitwear. And again, I have some stretch lace, uh, galoon lace, which is where it has, you know, it's usually like six, eight inches wide, sometimes a little bit mo more, but it'll have like the a lace edge on both sides. So you can kind of use both sides of it. Um, and I've got some in my stash for, uh, that I bought for bra making and underwear making and stuff a while ago that just hadn't gotten made up. So I thought this would make a wonderful, and you can use Jersey for the pattern, um, this would make a wonderful little nightgown. Now I bought three yards of this and the pattern for the nightgown only needs like a yard, I think, of the Jersey. Um, so I thought I would also do a top and bottom type pattern. Um, I know I've mentioned before, um, when we are when we are traveling again, um, we go back and see family and stuff rather frequently and I'm staying either at my in-laws house or my parents house or my sister's house and um, I need pajamas that I can very easily wear there and be decent. Um, so I did like the idea of a um, summer set as well that's a little less nightgown maybe. I'm thinking, I kind of thought about, um, so this is knit, and I thought, well, I could do the Carolyn pajamas, which is closet core patterns, um, kind of their, they have a short sleeve top and bottom, and I actually have some knit piping that I bought at, um, oh, um, oh my gosh, discount textile outlet, textile discount outlet, I never get it right, in Chicago before COVID hit, so it was the fall before COVID hit, um, just in their bin and it's kind of a mint green which I think would go with this which that could be neat or I could do um there's a couple of PJ pat patterns that Love Notions has that I have like the Luna loungewear set and then it was the Namaste pattern but I think they've changed the name of that I think it's a different name now but the same um, PJs anyway um I'm gonna make two pajamas I'm gonna make a little night dress and then also a top and bottom type pajama set as well and then with this so I had bought knit to go with my Pine Cove PJs um, to make a robe. 
and um, when I bought that, I knew I wanted to use the Compose robe from Love Notions, but the, it had not been released yet, and I was not a pattern tester for that one. I wasn't able to do that. And so when I bought the fabric for the Pine Cove PJs, um, Michelle kindly matched some knit for me for those, and I love it, but I did not buy enough for the Compose robe, and I wanted a, I want a calf length one for my knit version. I'd like that pattern can be made in knit or woven. I'd like a linen thing, I think too, knee length version, but I also, I wanted my knit one to be calf length and I needed three yards and I only had two and a half of the knit that I bought earlier, um, which is one of my colors and I will totally wear it. Um, I think I'm gonna turn it into a toaster sweater actually. But um, I came across this and I have sewn with this fabric now a few times. This is their, um, let's see, eco or cozy eco sweatshirt fleece. Um, and this is in the persimmon color. So I've made this. I made a jacket for my son in um, a navy in their gold colorway. I can't remember exactly the names of it. I think it's called denim and maybe it's ochre even. I can't remember. Anyway, it was like their navy and the yellow for a jacket for him. And then I used the olive colorway for my Como cardigan back when I did my work from home um, work module. Uh, anyway, love it. So I bought three yards of this and it goes perfectly with the little orange flowers that are in here, which if you can see those little flowers right there. <laughs> and it also matches, I had my Pine Cove PJs on um, last night and I uh, put them together uh, before I went to bed and it matches fantastic with that. And this is a little bit more of a stable knit. This doesn't have as much stretch in it. Um, than the one that I had gotten before. So I think this will actually work better because that robe pattern is for stretch and wovens. So um, for knits and wovens. So I think this might actually work a little bit better, but it'll still be cozy, which is what I wanting for my um, winter robe. So this is now gonna be called, become the compose, compose robe. And um, I'm gonna use the fabric that I did have. And I think I'm gonna do a toaster sweater cause I have, I wanna do both versions of the toaster sweater. So that will be coming soon on the channel too. So anyway, that was a lot of blab. That was 11 minutes of blab for these first two fabrics, and we're gonna be here forever. Okay, so those are the ones. Oh, I've got threads everywhere. For, that was my idea for that. Okay, then I came across, this is a, this is the one that I ordered three yards and they only had two and two thirds left. This is the Warp and Weft Yarn Dyed Checker Stripe Shirting in the Earth colorway. I just thought this is so cool. Um, they have a lavender one too that has like rust stripes in it that I was tempted. Um, but I think this is probably um, color wise going to be best for me. So this is 45 inches wide. I'm pretty sure it doesn't say on there. I'm pretty sure that it is. It feels phenomenal. It's just a lovely shirting weight. Yeah, that's 45 inches wide. Um, so you can see it's got like a little checker in the red. I just think it's so pretty. And if you guys recall when we were still traveling, <laughs> my birthday last year, <laughs> um, Oh, that's the thing. You're watching this on Tuesday. My birthday was yesterday. I'm filming this before then, but um, my birthday was yesterday. So I'm now 41 as you're watching this. Um, but my birthday last year, it was before COVID hit, right before COVID hit, and we were in Florida, and my uh, mom bought me a beautiful hand-woven um, kind of shawl wrap in these colors. So I think it'll be just fantastic. Um, and again, I had just purchased a whole bunch of patterns when I was making this order, this fabric order. And I was kind of thinking that this one, this S9102, um, and maybe this little version would be just a really cute summer dress. So it's shorter. And for, let's see, what is that? View D uses a 45, uses two and a half yards uh, for the size that I would need to make. So, um, and usually I can get away with less fabric because I always have to shorten things because I'm only 5'2". But anyway, I thought this version here would be really cute in this. And just a really lightweight summer dress. You can tell I'm in the mood for summer clothes. That's what I made for my, my retreat. Um, that needs to be searched and washed. Okay. I also grabbed, let's see, this is, I love this sherbet color. Uh, this is the Grain Line Yarn Dyed Woven Shirting in Creamsicle. Oh my gosh, this stuff feels amazing. And just with a name like Creamsicle, like why wouldn't you want to own this? Uh, this is shirting again, so it's 45 inches wide. Okay, and I, hopefully you're gonna be able to see the teeny tiny little stripe that's in there. I don't know if you will or not. Do, do, do. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. But there it is, the orange stripe, and then there's just a little bit of a teeny, teeny, tiny um, pinstripe of um, like, like kind of like an ochre gold color. 
just teeny tiny. So I mean obviously it comes across more of the creamsicle type. Um, but this is going to be a shirt, another button-up shirt, because I love a good button-up shirt. I think this will be perfect for spring. And I think this will go as a button-up shirt. This shirt and then also um, this colorway will go really good underneath the sweater I'm currently knitting, um, which I'm on the second sleeve. I'm almost done. It's that hand-dyed yarn that I bought if you follow along the channel. Okay, why am I folding that? That needs to be washed. Okay, next... Um, I had purchased in my big pattern haul. This is McCall's 7925, and I'm interested in view B, which is this version, but with, so view B with C's sleeve. I like view B's sleeve as well. But, um, so if you see has a two-tiered ruffle there at the bottom, I like just the, the one. I think that'll be about midi for me. Um, and it's, it's a shirt dress, basically, but I just thought that was really cute. Um, anyway, so yeah, UB length, which I think will, is just the one tier, but I do want the sleeves of UC. And this is the See You at Six Gilly Flowers Rayon in Rust. And I just thought that this is gorgeous. This was a this is a designer rayon. This CU at six is is a um a design you know it's it's more expensive like the uh, not as expensive as a til as a Tillier bu a Tillier bu brunette. A Tillier brunette? What is the name of that French one? Tillier brunette? Okay, you know what I mean. <laughs> but still, um Look, isn't that beautiful? And this came in a couple, of, I think a couple of different colorways, but I loved the teal that was in there in addition to kind of these rusty colors. I love that. And I got, I ordered three yards of everything. That must have been just what I, I don't know. Which is kind of, that's what a, a dress, I can usually get a dress out of three yards. Although the two 45 inch wide ones, um, I knew I would just be able to get like a tops or small dresses or stuff out of because it's narrower. Um, that was 54 or 57. All right, next up um, is this, and this is a linen. I love the colors, and this is like a lot of my colors. This is watercolor floral linen blend shirting in the coral colorway. It is also a wider one, like 57, 54, 57, somewhere around there. Look at that print. So we've got um, the coral, which is, you know, I don't know, it's a, it's a more, um, it's definitely more orange, less pink, I would say, coral. And then this is like a dark um, raisin color, kind of, plum color maybe, right there. And then you've got kind of that gray green color, and you've got the mustardy colors. And even this uh, grayer color here is like a taupe. It's the gray that I can wear, like a really warm one. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And it's a linen. We all know how I feel about linen. And I bought enough to make this dress. So this is Butterick 6762, also um, a newer one, and I wanna make this, um, actually would like to make both, but uh, I bought the fabric to make the fuller skirt for this one. And I think, I don't think I'll make the sleeves. I think I'll make it sleeveless. I think, <laughs> we'll see. Or you can pop another sleeve on there, do a full length sleeve or something. Make it a true shirt dress? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's the pattern I'm going to use for that. I say that. You know, this is all up for um, for me to change my mind. You know, it's all my prerogative, right? <laughs> all right, this is some... Oh, wait, here. I'll do the fabric first. Okay, this is a rayon. This is Cozy and Joyful Candied Roses Rayon Cherry. Now, this is a very thin rayon. I would almost call this like a rayon Batiste. I mean, it is like, now well, let me show you the right side. The print is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? But can you see like through it? I can't tell if you can see that or not. Um, I can see you pretty well through it. So I'm going to have to line um, the bodice, which is fine. Uh, but I love the color. So you've got like the little teal. There's that creamsicle color again. There's a little bit of pink. And then this is my um, red orange, my warm red that I my power color <laughs> that I really love. I love this print though. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and I bought three yards of it and I think I'm gonna do this Simplicity 8875. Now this has an underbust seam, so I was going to show you guys how to do a full, bu full bust adjustment on that. Um, you know, it's very similar to the other ones. 
And I think what I want to do is do View B. So this is View B right here that she's got on, um, which I think is very similar, if you want to see the line drawing, to this bodice. But I want to do the, the flutter sleeves of D. And I think that it would be really cool just to line the main part of the dress, like this part of the dress, and then leave this bottom frill unlined, and then leave the sleeves unlined so that they can be kind of not super transparent, because it's not super transparent, but that's kind of what I was thinking um, of just lining the body of the dress. So yeah, and that's a new one that I just got too, and I'm very excited. Actually, the fabric looks uh, kind of similar to what she's got on there, but I'm going to do the flutter sleeves. Those, that's a more flattering sleeve on me than these fitted ones, although I like those. I think that's a cute dress. I actually like all these versions of that pattern. All right, and then finally, I ordered some of this Circle Dot Embroidered Cotton Eyelet Olive. I have had this pattern in my stash since last year, so this is the fabric. It's my green. I love that. Um, it's a good spring green for me, kind of this grayed green, and I think I've got stuff in my stash for the um, contrast, but I've been wanting to make this dress forever. This version right here, View A, this is B6728. Um, again, I've had this since last summer. I just think this version is so cute. So um, I think I'm, I surely have some linen or something in my stash that will go with this green. Um, or even a cotton lawn. I can, you know, I can look around and find something that will go um, to back, obviously, the eyelet because the eyelet will be see-through, so it'll have to have something um, behind it. But yeah, I think that that's going to be really cute. And I've been wanting to make that forever. So I'm going to be making mine in this grayed green. And there you have it. Those are the eight pieces. That is my birthday fabric haul. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> A little gift to myself. And uh, yeah, that's what I've got for today. Okay, on Friday, you are going to see um, the second. So I'm doing, I'm in the middle of a one pattern three ways. This is the pattern. This is V8772. Um, is that right? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and um, you saw this one um, last Friday, um, just the other day, and then you'll see the second one on this coming Friday. Now, the second one you're seeing is actually the one we'll be making in the sew along, and the sew along starts in full on Sunday. So you'll actually see the finished blouse before you actually uh, do the sew along with me. So it's a little different than normal um, this time around. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the one pattern three ways. It's been really fun playing around with the pattern and kind of hacking it minimally, um, but enough to make uh, three very different shirts in the end. So very fun. Okay, that's all I have for today. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of my fabric haul. Do I have a problem? I think maybe I do. Uh, we're done for a while. <laughs> so <laughs> now it's time to sit down and actually sew through all of this, which I am very happy to do. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you again on Friday. Bye-bye.